is Lance from Lance's Auto Vlog, and I'm back with another video. So, new video, new truck. So this truck is a customer's truck. He's got a 2021 or 2022 Ford Maverick, and this Maverick, he's already done some stuff to it already. Um, but he came in and said he wanted to do an update on it, upgrade. So he went as far as to um, replace the original speakers here. And you can see it's been lifted a little bit here and the door speakers and um <clears throat> so we're gonna take that apart and see what's going on there uh, and then he's got a little jl amp there that he already had installed and uh he might have taken the screws out of it but this is what i found so far uh and then the batteries in the back of this truck is here so he's got to put a little box he had he purchased right there which he's going to bring me the box and we're going to do move this amp here to another location and then we're going to um also uh put in a hi lamp with a dsp in it and go through the speakers and see how they're wired i also want to check the polarity and see what's going on there once i get that figured out then we can move forward so check it out so we have the door part now and looking at this you can see that the speaker's rubbing so it looks like the adapter's wrong um, I mean, the, everything's in phase and the polarity is correct on all the speakers except the right rear one, which it could be the fact of the way it's designed. But I'm going to pull this speaker out and see what's going on as far as that. And you can also see that they just shot a screw there versus using the factory location. So I'm going to take it apart and see what we got going on and we'll work backwards from there. I mean, it's a decent speaker. I'm not sure. It's a JL, so let's see what it does. All right. So I'm still working on this uh, Ford Maverick hybrid uh, and the customer decided to upgrade his speakers. So we're going to upgrade the speakers on this unit to from the JL C2s, which are here, which is a good speaker. It's not bad. It just doesn't handle a ton of power. And we're going to put some power to these speakers now to these hybrids, these, these Morels, which are just beautiful. Driver's really nice um, and the tweeter as well. And the couple things we ran into with this tweeter is that when they put it in there, it uses dynamat or de sound dead and actually hold the speaker in place. This speaker, which you take a look at it, snaps right in. So if you're looking for an upgraded tweeter for your car and uh, you want to know what just snaps in this Morel uh, that's an MT 300 I believe is a tweeter snaps right in place uh, and don't do like what these guys did they actually snapped the tweeter in without the crossover because the speakers come with a passive crossover and there's a reason why it comes with a passive crossover I would suggest using it because ultimately it's going to blow the speaker or put a cap in there uh, the passive crossover is actually ideal because it's actually designed to make the speaker perform the way it's supposed to and then we also upgraded the actual speaker mount to the ones that actually fit so the other ones had a hole there this one's bolt right in and the morels just slide right in uh, so we got to get that condition and put the wiring in for there get the connectors on it and we can put the door panel back together so I'll show you a video of that when I'm done so on this car we finally got the door speakers in got those mounted you got those mounted in the, in here with some baffles uh, we do have to trim the uh, ring that goes around here to support that speaker to go in there other than that, we're going to do a little bit of sound editing and get the car wrapped up in the front end. Then we got to work on the back end. So stay tuned for the next part. It's not complicated. So this is Lance. I'm back with the video to wrap up the car to show you what we did in total. Um, I'm going to try to share as much information as I can. Uh, this is a 2023 or 2022. One or the other. The very similar cars, not the same. Uh, Ford Maverick uh, Hybrid. So you have the screen here and the dash, which is just the screen. All the air, all the guts are here. So when you're doing a, a radio, I should say uh, an upgrade in the system, everything, all the connections are made here because you pop this piece out and the tuner's back here and the plug's there. Um, what we wind up doing up here is we actually redid the grill here. And the reason why we did the grill over again is because the tweeter hole in the top is a... I want to say 20 maybe 25 millimeter maximum but realistic 20 and what we did was we widened out the hole uh to make it so the tweeter actually breathed completely through that grill without having any interruptions otherwise 
I mean, it'll fit under there, but that's a, like I said, that's a 20, 25 maximum millimeter grill, uh, tweeter. And the whole, I mean, as far as hole goes, and the grill is probably about the same. And if you want to get the maximum out of your tweeter, you have to hit the matter on the pillar. Or if you mount it under there, you have to open it up. So we open it up to about two, two and a quarter inch hole. So it vented out really well. And the car sounds phenomenal when it's said and done. And then you got the Morel six inch in there. Nothing really did anything crazy about that. Um, and then, oh, let's get this stuff out of the way here. We we'll kind of put the car together for the customer. Um, let's pull the seat out. <laughs> So back here, the customer bought a box, a box online, and you may not be able to see it well, but let me find, let me open the light up. So he has this box back here with a JL 8W3 and the box back here. The box fits pretty decently. It doesn't move around. I actually sound it under here at the bottom. So underneath the box itself, we sound deadening and we also put some foam in there so it wouldn't have any issues. And everything's on the passenger side. So we flip this down here. And we put the amps here. So we have the Audison USS4. Now that basically gives you a load on the inputs. Because we have front and rear inputs. It has a load on it. So it allows you to, to just basically don't have to worry about having put load resistors. Uh, because that piece does it for you. And then we have the Arc Blackbird running the 8 channels. And we're running one to tweeter, two to tweeter, left, right. We're bridging three and four to the mid bass and five and six to mid bass and seven, eight to rear speakers. Then the customer had his own JL amp here. And this is the JD501. Um, and it's not a bad amp, it actually works really well. Um, the rear speakers are three and a half. That's because he changed them. If I would have elected to it in the long run, I probably would have kept the original four inch or just put something very inexpensive in there. But he already spent the money on the three and a half. And we tuned them, made them sound good. So this, this car is basically a wrap. So 20, 22, 23 Maverick hybrid. Um, and the car sounds awesome. Catch you on the next video.